This is question 1A from the May 2018 CSEC Maths paper. Now it says, using a calculator otherwise, evaluate each of the following, giving your answer to two decimal places. Using a calculator otherwise. Let's use a calculator. Let me get my calculator here. All right, good. Have a calculator here now. Seventy-three point one eight minus five point two three multiplied by nine point three four. Now you have to be careful here. You see this part where it says seventy-three point one eight. You m must not do that first, even though it appears first. On the left, you mustn't do it. You must do the multiplication first. All right. So, what we have here is seventy-three, seventy-three point. No, not seventy-three point one eight. Five point two three. Five point two three. I have to be careful. It's five point two three. Multiplied by 9.34, 9.34 equal that's 48.8482. Then after that, it's going to be 73.18 minus that. So you minus. The forty eight point eight four eight two point eight four eight two equals and you have twenty four point three three one eight. Now it says to give your answer to two decimal places. Remember <coughs> The number of the small place. Uh, first of all, let me write down the answer here that I got. What I have here is twenty-four point three three one eight. Let me just look like that. Let me see if I can write my eight a bit better. Nice. Let me get rid of the calculator. All right. Now to two decimal places. The number of decimal places, number of decimal places, you start counting once you pass the decimal point. So there will be two decimal places. All right. So. You have three three. If what followed the next three was five or more, you would add one to this three. But since it is less than one, that less than five, then you keep the three. So the answer you end up with is twenty four point three three. All right. No. That's the answer, but let's go back to this rule saying that you must do the multiplication first before you do addition and subtraction. Why, why does that really work? Let's see. Suppose, for example, you had 2 plus 2 times 5. Now, let's consider what happened here. If you say 2 plus 2 is 4 times 5, the answer you get is 20. It would be 20, right? If you do the multiplication first and say 2 times 5 is 10, so you have 2 plus 10. When you, do, when you multiply 2 by 5 first, 2 plus 10 gives you 12. Now the question is, 
which of these is right? Let's see. Let's break down this 2 plus 2 by 5. This is what we're working on right now. Let's break this down. If you have 2 plus, remember what 2 by 5 means. It means you have 5 2's added together. Multiplication is repeated addition. This 2 by 5 means there are 5 of these 2 added. So it's plus 2. That's 2 so far. Plus 2. That's the third one. Plus 2. That's the fourth one. Plus 2. So this part with it, 2 by 5 is really this part. It means you have 5 2's added together. Now what do they come down to? 2 plus 2 that's 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 that's 8 plus 2 8 plus 2 that's 10 Plus the final 2 gives you 12. So this is right. Alright. So in this case. This is the right one. This is wrong. So. That's why you must. Do the multiplication first. Because the multiplication means. In this case. There are 5 2's added together. Alright. So all you did was just. Add these five twos when you multiply it, you get ten, then add it to the next two give you twelve. Alright? So don't forget that. 